excited for you. What a great show we've got for you this week. Yes, as you might have guessed, the smoothest singer in town, Michael Bublé, is here. <laughs> <laughs> English Rose turned Hollywood star Helena Bonham Carter is on the show. I know, I know. The hottest comedian in Britain, Jack Whitehall, will be here, ladies and gentlemen. And later we'll be joined by globe trotting Python star Michael Palin, everybody. Yes. Uh, Michael. Michael will be telling us all about his latest travels around Brazil. Oh, Brazil, what a country. Full of beautiful women and football. Mm. Not really my bag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there one day, I don't know. Uh, now, I am delighted to welcome Helena Bonham Carter onto the show. She is the star of so many brilliant films, like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Room with a View, and of course, Sweeney Todd. Oh, there she is. There she is with the demon barber of Fleet Street. I wonder why they call him the Demon Barber. Finished! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, here's Helena in Planet of the Apes. Lovely. Mmm. <laughs> uh, she, she played an ape that formed a romantic attachment to a human. Hey, you know, it could happen. Good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I told you, I told you it could happen. How excited are we that Michael Bublé is back with us, everybody? <laughs> oh, 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 there's a bank of ladies over there, so... <laughs> That's what Michael does so brilliantly, isn't it? Yeah, it's the way he cultivates a rapport with his fans. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you another song. Uh, Michael, incredibly popular, especially amongst women of a certain age, getting drunk and waving their knickers at him. Let's get the yes song! Later, we'll be joined by Mr. Michael Palin. But first, time for some classic Whitehall comedy. It's Jeff Whitehall! <laughs> Suited, booted, like I was coming this way. I'll give him that. Hello, sir. Very nice to see you. Have a seat, do. Christmas is coming early, it's Michael Bublé! Oh! 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 Leather denim! Oh! oh yeah. Really good, nice to nice see you. Too. Jack, Michael, Michael, Jack. And it's time to get Carter and tell him about him, Carter! Oh. Woo! Woo! Hello, you lovely woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More. Oh, down, it's down. Very nice I've to see you. Never met before. Oh, I've never met before. Oh, I've never met you. It's nice. It's a chat show, everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, are you expecting company, Helena? No, it's just me. I know it is excessive. Jaeger bomb with a coffee it chaser. Is. I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> no, they do. They have different things. You see, the dark coats gets you up. Water just flush through, and then coffee if I do fall asleep, which I won't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Helena has high hopes for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on it off a bit towards the end. <laughs> uh, do you know what else I really like about this sofa? It's a nice one, the sofa, that people are fans of each other. Because, Michael Bublé, how many times did you see Helena's last film, Dark, Dark Shadows? <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah. in the theatre, five times, and I took my friends, my family, I just thought it was a beautiful movie. I was so entertained through the oh, whole thing. thank you. Did you pay? Five times? Yes, yes, wow. for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody else saw it by then. I liked it so did much. Did you see it once? I, I bet in. you did not see it I thought it, it was so you good, sure? I filmed it on a camcorder, burnt it to it. Because <laughs> I wanted all my friends to see it as well. And I gave it to them at a very reasonable price. <laughs> Jack Whitehall, very excited. A little bit of we might come out of Jack Whitehall, oh he's so God. excited. I am on the same sofa as Michael Bublé. This... <laughs> Listen, he's Michael. Michael, he's not making this no, up. I li I'm really? so excited to be here with you this evening. And because I'm at a stage of my life, right, all my friends, they're still, like, they're going out, right, Graham, and they're having, like, these all-night raves and they're, like, partying and getting drunk. I'm so over that. <laughs> my ideal night these days, go home, run a bath, light some candles, <laughs> open a bottle of Shiraz, <laughs> put on a little bit of this gentleman's music here and have what I like to refer to as a buble bath. <laughs> You know what? It's, it's the great. dream, Michael. I, I honestly... <laughs> it's so good. This is... You don't even know. This is absolutely crazy that you would say that. Because <laughs> I have kept this in my wallet forever. Um... 
not a photo of him. Is, is it, it the restraining order? Oh! <laughs> It's lovely. It is a Look at oh. those eyes. Should we leave? Look we at those should, eyes. We should have a yeah, buble bath together one day. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a gay way. Like, like two boys at boarding school that want to conserve hot water. <laughs> yeah. After the match. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Uh. Uh, you're going to be very excited because uh, Michael Buble will be performing for us later. Oh. Yes, he will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this thank is you. the thank Christmas, you, Christmas CD. Which one are you giving us this evening? Uh, Jingle Bells with, uh, with the most incredible group uh, from here called the Papini Sisters that I just love. And if you don't know them, you haven't seen them, you're going to just absolutely die for them. They're great. Uh, now, this album, you've re-released it this year with, is it four extra tracks? Four extra tracks, yeah. And I could see why you re-released it. Last year, uh, the only thing that outsold this last year mm -hmm. was Adele's 21. That's right, yes. Like, that's mad. It's massive. It turns out I'm a Christmas slut. <laughs> But no, but the thing is, but you take it quite seriously. I mean, you right. genuinely love it. I love songs. it. I genuinely Christmas. love it. You go for it. Love it. Oh, I just way. love it. I think my mom and dad gave me so much love, and my sisters. We come from my grandparents on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. and uh, they'd never heard me sing before. I was probably, I don't know, nine years old, ten years old, and the, you know, the kids in the car with my little sisters, we were all singing "White Christmas." I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every yeah, Christmas card. And all of a sudden, I went, "May your days." They marry <laughs> and bride. And, you were and the whole voice. car went. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. Christmas in the Bon Carter Burton family. Yeah. Because we have a vision of your lives. I know. It might be slightly different from the actual one. So is it quite traditional, your Christmas? It's traditional. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really boring. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, maybe the first Christmas he decorated the tree. I thought he likes having creative control of the tree because he's quite artistic. So he did the tree and everything, which looked all very... But then as you got closer, you realised there were some zombies and dead babies and... <laughs> <laughs> this is where I was just like, you know... Are you really? Yeah. They were. No, obviously he does. <laughs> he's sick. He's obviously a sick man. Yeah, well, didn't you notice? In dark, yeah. just, but he oh. loves... Like, in his movies, no, he loves Christmas it. in his movies. For Christmas. No, he loves Christmas. He, in fact, he went and got the lights today. And can I just clarify, because there's an awful lot in the paper about, yeah. oh, that you guys live in separate houses. But you just live in a big house, don't you? Yeah, right, it is. The more it I is. read about it, I kind of go, hang on, they just knocked through some houses. No, we just haven't. We have a big house. We did have little ones, and they, now it just looks like a big house, which has no interior design um, constancy whatsoever. You know, okay. there's a bit that looks a bit like me, which is tasteful. And <laughs> Yes, <laughs> which is bizarre. And, but no, there's not actually... Everybody seems to make us more interesting than we actually are. Yeah, you just live like rich people. It's just a big exactly. house. Exactly. An enormous very house with people. different rooms. Yeah, very, very, very rich. <laughs> <laughs> because the first time you spoke, though... At all, in no, life. Tim. When Tim... Oh, yes. The, the first mm -hmm. phone call. Yes. That didn't sound like the beginning of a romance. Well, for me, it was, actually. Oh. I was in Australia doing a film. No one saw that one, but I liked it. But anyway, and then he phoned <laughs> up saying, oh, I'm, I'm directing this film, Planet of the Apes. Hi, it's Tim Burton here. It was in the middle of the night, because Australia and the time, but never mind. <laughs> Cut to the chase. And, um, <laughs> and he said, uh, yeah, don't take this wrong way, but you are the first person I thought of to play a chimpanzee. <laughs> and but for me, I thought, God, he's never met me, but he's, he's got me, because he said, I've got this funny, intuitive feeling, and he has got a lot of instinct, good instinct about people, so, that you like to cover up and... Um, and I said, you're completely right. And so, that was so, the first kind of spark. And then, there, there it began. And now there it was a... that and her work in the PG Tips adverts, which was... Because <laughs> 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 you guys, you've guys been together like 10 years. Congratulations. Thank you, 11 years. 11 years? Yeah, yeah. Which is very good. <laughs> That took, that took the man from Canada to start the round of applause because every British couple in here was just like, they must hate each other by now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, of course, Michael Bublé... Hi. A uh, year and a half... Is it a year and a half? It's been over a year and a half now. You got married. Yes. Though it feels like 20. <laughs> no! I mean, 20 happy years! <laughs> no, 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 it's great, yeah. Yeah, I'm married oh. up, is what I did. Beautiful. I watched an actress called... Luz... Luciana... Lo <laughs> Mrs. Buble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Lu Lu Lopitalo? Luciana Lorele Lopelato. Oh. Wow. Oh, she is oh Michael. English. They cut out the Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> she's How do you... I Because when I That's try and pull girls, I use Michael Buble. Because yeah. I don't know whether you're aware of this, but your music is clincher music. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. If you take a girl out on a date, maybe things aren't going well, you yeah. get her back to yours, you stick on a little bit of Buble, boom, someone's getting fingered. <laughs> 
That's how it works. Do, do you ever, do you ever, do you ever, listen, is. do you ever listen to one of your own CDs? Do you ever listen to one of your own, your own CDs? CDs. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I like, I, uh, when I, when I'm making a record, I'll go home and I'll listen to it to, so I can basically judge it and destroy it and then go back in the studio the next day and re-sing it and all that stuff. You know what stuff. we're asking. It's, it's the perfect When ever... I make, when I make love. When you make sweet love. When I make love. <laughs> <laughs> Because it is the perfect, that's the thing. People uh, are like, oh, yeah, Barry White. No, you have sex with Barry White on in the background. You make love to Michael Bublé. Yeah. <laughs> I would get through, like, ten seconds of one song. I... <laughs> no. 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 I bet you no, make no, love. No, like another make... summer day, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you make love like you make music. Just a cacophony of steady rhythms <laughs> leading to a jazzy climax. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. But now, in terms of your relationship, love at first sight, you meet her, yeah. but you can't communicate to begin with. Well, we couldn't communicate, and she couldn't speak at all. She couldn't speak English Where'd at all. Her? I met her in Argentina after a show, and uh, I, I saw her across the crowded room. I was absolutely in love with her. Um, just turned out she was invited to an after-party thing that I'd had. She walked in with the greatest-looking guy I've ever seen. He made Brad Pitt look like a, a fat turd. <laughs> He came in and I, he could speak a little English and it was heartbreaking. Here you meet the woman of your dreams and then you meet her boyfriend. And so I was already drunk and I, I, as I got more drunk and more drunk, I was trying to figure out if they were together but I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to, I would never do that to a guy. It's, it's just bad form. So I was, by the time a few drinks went by, I was, I was trying to figure it out and I was just wasted and I ended up saying like, oh my God, look at your arms so big. You guys are so beautiful together. And, uh, and he said, like, no, we're not together. And I said, like, oh, really? But by that time, <laughs> my wife was already texting her mother saying, oh, my God, he is so gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have, you, have you learned, is it Spanish or Portuguese? Uh, Spanish, 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 Spanish. Brazil is Portuguese. Yeah. In, okay. Yeah. So have you learned Spanish now? I have a little bit. She says I speak like a caveman, though. <laughs> caveman. Yeah. She's, caveman. And her English is... She went from not saying, but really, not a word, to one day we were uh, at her house in Argentina, and I said to her, do you, want to take, do you want to take this DVD back to Blockbuster? And she said, yes, please place the corresponding CD within the correct package. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I married up. <laughs> now, listen, we must talk about uh, your new movie. We must? Yes, we must. Oh, I mean, we must. Uh, great Expectations. Mm -hmm. wow. They've made it again, goddammit! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has been... I've been talking about it a bit for the last two weeks, and everyone's like, again! I'm OK, there was the telly one. But on the big screen, it's only the first movie that's been on 60-something years or something. I can't remember. But it's true. It's 61 years or something since the last thing. And it does... It does... Yeah. Yeah. But it, listen, it's a very good version. I mean, it tells the story brilliantly. You are fantastic. You're Mrs. Havisham. I'm a miss, actually. That's miss, the whole point. Miss, of course. Yeah. That's the whole point, yes. <laughs> 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 Does that really spoil the plot for anyone? <laughs> <laughs> this one, she actually gets married. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good script. We didn't yeah. it up. <laughs> no, we thought we'd change it up. She actually gets married. <laughs> I, I, I read it. Also, I wasn't trying to do something different, and so I thought, ah, I read it. I did read it, I promise. And then the first thing, there was one piece is that, that she, when she hears the news, she only puts one shoe on. So she, I played the whole thing up with one shoe on, one shoe off. So we never really got a shot of it. So when we actually saw it, Tim just thought, like, I was looking like as if I'm hobbling and trying to be old. And I said, I'm not trying to be old. I'm proud to be 45 and I'm 45. There. But it's, I'm playing it like Cinderella and it's all like fairy tale. Anyway, there are lots of fairy tale imagery and it, it is a fairy.